Hi everyone, my name is Toshan and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at this block right here. And this block is a respawn on hold. What this block does is makes you able to set your spawn point in the nether. Which is right here. But as you may see, I cannot set my spawn here just yet. Because it's not powered. In order to power it, we have to put glowstone in it. So now I'll take a block of glowstone and put it inside. As you may see, the whole block started glowing and this little triangle appeared. I can also put another block, another block, and another block. And I can set my spawn. As soon as there is at least one block, you can set your spawn there. And now, if I were to die, I would respawn right here. But as you may see, it used some of that ghost. And you'd have to refill it manually. And that's not something we are interested in doing, are we? So, in order to create the respawn on her, you'll need 6 crying obsidian and 3 glowstone blocks. Glowstone, as you probably know, you can get from the nether. It just spawns the same way it used to. To get crying obsidian, you'll need to barter with these guys. Just tossing them some gold. Then they have a chance of giving you crying obsidian. As I said before, over here, in order to be able to respawn again and again using this particular respawn on hole, you'd have to constantly refill this glowstone. But I was wondering if it puts out a different comparator output when uh, it has some glowstone. And let's test it out, shall we? If I put one glowstone in, it glows for the length of three. Then additional four. Then another four, I think. And then to the maximum length of 50. What that means is this redstone output changes depending on how much glowstone is inside. So that's great. You probably may ask, why can't you just use a hopper? Well, a hopper does not feel. What feeds this is a dispenser, as you may see right over here. With a dispenser it works, and the hopper does not work. And no, a hopper from the top does not work either. So it doesn't really matter which side. And I have actually come up with a design that uses this comparator as well as this little trick. So all you'll need to build it is in this chest and what we have here is some glowstone for fuel, one redstone dust, one redstone comparator, one respawn anho, one dispenser and two observers. In a desired place, place the respawn on hold. Now take your comparator and put it right here, like this. And take your redstone dust and put it over here. Now take your observer and make sure it points onto this piece of dust. And then take another observer and make sure it points over here, into that other observer. 
All you'll need then is a dispenser pointing into the respawn arm. This dispenser is already filled and it should work. As you may see it's still empty but that's because for it to work we actually have to feed it once. As you see it automatically fills it completely. And now if I were to set my spawn point here and die it would be automatically filled. And again see perfectly filled. So this is the basic design but I have come up with yet another design an extension to this design uh, you would say and it moves the block and gives us access to the dispenser so we can easily put in the fuel again when it's low it's especially useful if you want to put it in a house that you'll probably have somewhere in the nether during the next update and all you need to do both the, uh, the basic design with the opener is this 5 redstone dust 2 repeaters 2 comparators 2 observers 1 respawn on hall 1 dispenser and 1 sticky piston of course some glowstone so I'll take all of this and let's build here goes the respawn on. So as you may see, this is how it's going to look like when the piston is not trapped. And now, as we did last time, the exact same way. And this is the one that's gonna be tricky. Let's put this. And here we go. So that's the same design like there is over there. And all you have to do to make the extension is put one of your comparators right here with two redstone out. Oh, I'll take it out. With two redstone dusts, one redstone repeater here, another one here, additional two redstone dusts, and a sticky piece sticky piston facing this direction and this is all you will need so when you have 42 or more glowstone in the dispenser the wall will be perfectly flush and everything will be great and as soon as the number of glowstone falls to 41 or less this is going to open up and you'll have easy access to the dispenser as soon as the number goes back as you may see over the top here it will close up and if you have a lot then you can dial it additionally you can make one more modification If you want to be super safe and know before this opens if you will soon need some to refill the glowstone all you'll need to do is get your redstone dust here and put a redstone lamp right here and when this redstone lamp is off that means you will soon run low and if you have a lot of glowstone in the dispenser, the lamp will stay on. So as soon as the lamp turns off, you have to start worrying that soon you'll have to refill and possibly prepare some extra glowstone in a chest somewhere. And when it opens, you'll have easy refill okay guys so this would be it for me today uh if you enjoyed the video and want to see more be sure to like 
comment and subscribe and see you next time bye